At the Avalon Air Show in Australia, Boeing revealed its plans to test the MQ-28 Ghostback combat drone with air-to-air -air missiles by the end of 2025 or early 2026. This marks a pivotal shift in the drone's development, which so far has focused on non-kinetic missions like electronic warfare and surveillance. Steve Parker, interim president of Boeing Defense, Space and Security, shared that the company aims to accelerate the Ghost Bat's progress, particularly in broadening its operational functions. While Boeing has not confirmed whether the test will involve the current Block 1 version or the upcoming Block 2, the MQ-28 test fleet is expected to grow with the arrival of new models. Key to the drone's development is the integration of an internal weapons bay, which will enable it to carry weapons such as the AIM-120 AMRAM, the AIM-9X Sidewinder, or potentially an Australian-designed missile. The test will serve to validate the drone's weapon systems and its potential as a collaborative air combat platform, supporting crewed aircraft in complex operational environments. The MQ-28 Ghost Bat, a cutting-edge uncrewed combat drone, is designed to work seamlessly alongside manned aircraft, enhancing intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance capabilities. With a range of over 2,000 nautical miles, it can execute fighter-like missions at a fraction of the cost, around one-tenth the price of a traditional crewed fighter. Its open architecture design allows for quick adaptations and integration of new technologies, offering flexibility for military forces in various mission scenarios. The introduction of the Block II variant aims to further improve the MQ-28's endurance, payload capacity, and interoperability with other air platforms. This aligns with the growing trend of Collaborative Combat Aircraft CCA, an emerging concept demonstrated by programs like the U.S. Air Force's Skyborg and BAE Systems Loyal Wingman. As a result, the MQ-28 could be a compelling option for air forces around the globe, including those in North America. Since its test program began, the MQ-28 has already racked up over 100 flight hours, successfully validating its autonomous flight algorithms. It is also equipped with adaptive capabilities that allow it to adjust flight paths and parameters in real-time based on mission demands. This adaptability is a key feature of the drone's design, and its performance has generated growing interest both in Australia and internationally, further supported by backing from the Australian government. Although the Ghost Bat is being developed with the Royal Australian Air Force, its future depends on securing a production contract. Boeing remains optimistic about the potential of the program, citing ongoing interest in the US and Australia. Several MQ-28 units have already been sent to the US for testing with the Air Force, raising speculation about its integration into the US Air Force's CCA programs. This news comes alongside Boeing's recent victory in securing a contract for the U.S. Air Force's Next Generation Air Dominance NGAD, program aimed at creating a new sixth-generation fighter, the F-47. With both projects advancing rapidly, Boeing is positioning itself as a leader in the evolving landscape of air combat, where autonomous systems like the MQ-28 Ghost Bat will play an increasingly vital role in future military strategies. The upcoming missile test is a major milestone for the MQ-28's development and could help define its role in the future of collaborative air combat, influencing its adoption across global air forces.